Hey YouTube, it's Brandon here. Adam here. Today we're going to be going over a Joyo head we have. It is a Joyo Bantamp Zombie. It is a 20 watt partial solid state partial tube head. What that means is it's got a solid state 20 watt power section with one 12AX7 preamp tube. It has also got an effects loop, a dual tone channel design, Bluetooth, a headphone output, and it is a 8 ohm 20 watt output power head. So this little thing sounds pretty good in my opinion. We've had it hooked up for a little bit and done a little bit of tracking with it so far and we really enjoy it especially for the price. So let's get into the video. Okay YouTube, here's the Joyo Bantamp zombie head. We have everything set to noon except for the volume and we are running a double mic setup using a Heel PR20 mic slightly off of the cap on the speaker and also a SM57 directly on the cap of the speaker and we are blending those through our Mackie Mix 8 mixer running it straight into PreSonus Studio One version 3 with no processing whatsoever this is the tone you will get from a Joyo Zombie and a Harley Benton 212 vintage cab not very bad it's actually got quite a good clean tone especially running through those vintage 30s um the only thing i could say about the joyo band Hamps clean is it lacks a little bit of the driving force that you want behind your amp it doesn't have the oomph that you would expect for a, a 20 watt tube amp to have but that being said, it is a solid state power section with a tube preamp, so it does have the warmth. It just doesn't seem to have the power to drive it home. So let's check out the distortion channel now. Okay, the Joyo Zombie has a really good uh, distortion channel. The uh, tone control works really well. You can go from really deep bass to very high, high end uh, treble and mid range. The gain really doesn't do much after about the you know three quarter of the waypoint. It's about the same, so we we usually never turn it up past that. It also comes with a Bluetooth to where you can turn the Bluetooth on, as I'll show here. And it turns this blue right there, which means it's in Bluetooth mode. And you can pair your phone or any other Bluetooth device up to it. And you can play backing tracks or whatever you want through it. It's really a great amp for the price. I believe it costs 169 for for that to be sent i can't remember exactly where we purchased it from but it was very very cheap and it is a great amp and if you notice on the lettering of it it says z 
MB in bright silver. Well, I believe that is because it is modeled after a Mesa Boogie. So it is actually a very good amp. Very good amp. And I think for someone starting out that's wanting to record, that's a great purchase for the price. You can record with it. You can gig with it, I'm sure. I mean, 20 watts doesn't seem like much, but many times have we been in the studio and kept up with a live drum set, and they was able to hear the drums and the guitar. So it's a really good purchase for the price. Now, this cab, this cab is awesome. It is loaded with two vintage 30 Celestians, and I ordered it from Toman, and it came very fast. I got it within two weeks. It shipped from Germany. And I believe I paid right under $300 for it. And it just sounds phenomenal. Don't let the small package fool you. It really has a lot of tone. And I wasn't expecting it to be this small. I was expecting it to be larger. But for the size, it has got a tonal quality that surpasses any other 212 cab I've heard. It is up there with the Mesa Boogie 212 cabs. I mean, it is a great sounding cab. And like I said before, everything you just heard was unprocessed. We literally just ran it straight out of the back of the Joyo head into the 212 cab with a Hill PR20 mic and a Shure SM57 mic. Ran that directly into our Mackie Mix 8 mixer. Out of that into our Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 and straight into PreSonus Studio 1 with no processing. We have the channel sent to the main so there's no process in between so please like share subscribe leave a comment tell us what you think about it and just give us a idea of how we're doing and if there's anything that you want to see let us know and we will do our best to make a video of it thanks for watching